Good morning, Cerebralites. It is she, the Cerebral Diva, and she is back and officially in the building with a brand new video for your listening and viewing pleasures. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. We are at the halfway mark. If you are like me, then you just live for the weekends. I'm just trying my best to get through the week to get to my Friday. So knowing I'm at the halfway point is definitely a high point for me. Um, having said that, you guys, I want to come and talk to you guys a little bit about a trending story. And that story is about Azalea Banks. Um, whenever you hear her name, it's sad to say, you know there's going to be something sensational, outlandish, bombastic. I mean, just, you don't necessarily associate Azalea Banks with anything positive. That's sad, right? I mean, that, that has become her brand. Her brand has become drama. Um, her brand is um, conflict, you know. And this one is definitely a head scratcher for me. <laughs> when this came across my timeline, I was like, say what? One, two, three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I ain't messing with you. Oh, no. <laughs> And it'll probably take you a moment to digest it too, but yeah, let's let's talk about it. So apparently Azalea Banks went live and decided that she was going to not only dig up her dead cat, but also take a page from the Fatal Attraction Handbook and boil it. Listen, take as much time as you need to process it because it certainly took me a couple of moments to wrap my brain around it. Um... And this is one of those things that when you first hear about this story. Man had a little lamb. Okay. You, it's so outrageous that your immediate or visceral response is just sort of to laugh or to sort of scratch your head, just trying to figure out what the heck is happening here. But then when you take time and you process it, you start to think, what's wrong here? Like some people are laughing and pointing and, you know, this is, you know, stereotypical Azalea behavior. And to some degree, they may be right. I don't know. But I will tell you this, from the outside looking in, and no, I'm not a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a licensed counselor, you know, I, I don't have any accreditation as it relates to mental health. But what I can say is just simply from the point of being a human being and watching another human being's actions, something about Azalea is off kilter, for lack of a better term. Something's going on here. And because I feel like something is going on, it's hard for me to laugh and find humor in her antics just because she's one of those celebrities. Um, and again, this is not me wishing ill on anyone, but she's one of those people that if I woke up tomorrow and saw a headline that says Azalea Banks passed away from self-inflicted what have you, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I wouldn't be shocked. I would be sad just because, you know, I would be wondering where were all of the people who should have been helping her instead of laughing and pointing at her. Um, I think that when she does these types of things, that it is definitely a cry for help. People, some people may think it's attention-seeking behavior, but I really think that it's her in her own dysfunctional way trying to pull attention to her for the sake of getting the help that she knows she so desperately needs. So anyway, while, you know, some people may find humor in it, you know, I don't want to cast an ominous shadow over anybody's fun, but I, I don't see the humor, honestly. I think it's sad. I think it's tragic. I hope she gets help. Um, and I don't want to report or talk about it in a way that makes light of the issues here. Anyone who is digging up a dead animal and boiling it, for whatever reason, something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Now, the only thing I can say 
or the only way that I can possibly see a little bit of levity here um, would be in the event that this is all just some sort of prank that she's playing at. You know, she, you know, went to the um, studio effects store and purchased a, you know, lifelike cat and, you know, and, and produced this whole moment and produced this whole mo this event that is not an actual real moment. I guess at that point, then maybe the joke is on us because we're all talking about it. And meanwhile, she's sort of, sort of showing us, you know, how quickly we are to assume the worst about her. Maybe that's the point of this. I do not know. Anyway, comment below because I'm really curious to hear what you have to say about it. Um, as always in closing, people, remember to live better, love harder, and think smarter, and send your prayers and best wishes to Azalea because she definitely needs them. And I will talk to you guys again in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.